welcome to another Vachil jewellery workshop. Today we'll be doing wire mesh brooches. I'll take you through step by step. This is the wire mesh that comes in a tube in a metre length. This is cherry red. We're going to cut approximately 14 inches. We need to make a fold just marginally underneath the middle so you've got probably about three millimeters from the top so you do a crease with your fingers there's an indentation here that you've left when you're working with wire mesh um, it can fray with your flat nose pliers you fold over and you rub your finger against it and as you can see you form a crease and I like to do this twice we've done the crease and we've done the folds at the side the next thing to do is it's almost like a running stitch I like to use a big eye needle for convenience of threading and the big eye needles literally open up like so what I've used here is Beadalon Supple Max. Um, the Beadalon Supple Max is 0.25 millimetres. We'll pop the big eye needle into the crease at the end. Leave a little bit of a tail there, about four inches of a tail at the end. And now we do a running stitch until we get to the end. Take the big eye needle off, clip that for simplicity at the top of your bead mat. Now the reason why I find this easier is because otherwise it just gets ravelled and it's difficult to know where you're at. As you're going to gather, make sure you catch the other thread here because you don't want to lose that. These two folded edges here, bring them together and we're going to actually tie them but before you do that we want to pull it in closer so tie an ordinary knot with now varnish and what this does is it seals the knot and it stops it from slipping you've still got these long ends and these ends we'll use to actually sew on the button and the back. Press a little bit with your fingers to steady it and as you can see you can really pull this and work the flower. Now the creases you've got one on the outside and an inner one so I'd suggest you work on the outside one first As you can see it's already starting to form its shape now. Now these thicker bits at the at the side are the bits you can still pull out so you can make it much bigger in width if you'd like to so you get a much fuller flower. People like to develop their own shape and ideas like this one for example you can see that's more of a, a petal shape to work on the inner one. This is where we made the crease to begin with. I'm going to pull that out. Can you see we have a hole in the centre? So what we do with that is you bring in some of the ends that you've still got a nice flower. I'm going to actually make it decorative and put on a button. Now these are buttons um, that have been handmade um, with polymer clay. This is a vintage button which gives a really nice effect. I'm now going to switch from the big eye needle to using an ordinary sewing needle. Um, I've threaded on the longer thread, I've got a shorter tail and a longer tail. Um, before I start doing this, I'm just going to pop a few <coughs> stitches in the petals. Now, because this 
um, is still attached to the flower from when you did the gathering stitch. Um, you don't need to tie any knots in this. Okay, so this is a two hole button. This is simply attaching it so I go right through to the back, like so, and probably do about four to five repeats through that. We've now got the button attached. What I've also done is where you've got the two ends there, I've actually sewn those together as well. So I'm going to take the thread back down to the centre and for the final stage um, is to actually sew on the brooch back. Um, now this particular brooch back um, has got two holes in the middle. So open up your brooch back, pop your needle through it, catch a little bit of the mesh brooch and then go back up into the center. If you do that about four times we're now going to switch to the other side and again pick up some of the wire mesh and stitch. I've done three this side, three that side. I'm going to pass the thread the needle through to the other side. Now keep a small loop that side because I'm going to tie a knot in it so we go back through and then go into the loop once, twice and pull. Again before you snip it apply some nail varnish when that's set, you can then cut off all your loose ends. So we've got the brooch back. And there we have the wire mesh rose, which is complete. Well, thank you for watching another jewellery making tutorial with Vachil Jewellery. Everything that you've seen on here today, the wire mesh, the buttons, um, they are on the equipment. It's all available to buy online in various different colours, which is www.vachiljewellery.co.uk. Thanks for viewing and look out for more wire mesh tutorials and lots more. Bye now. Thank you.